went anywhere in these United States. When pro athletes get traded, become free agents, or need a second home, that's where I come in. My name is Jason Abrams. My team and I match the world's greatest athletes with the world's most unique properties. They call me the Jerry Maguire of real estate. You just worry about football, I'll worry about house hunting. I'm on the case. He's on the case and here to talk about his new show, Scoring the Deal, real estate agent to the pros, Jason Abrams. Good morning to you. Morning. So I understand, you know, when somebody gets traded to a new team, that means they got to go to a new town. They get you on the horn and they say what? They say, meet me tomorrow. I mean, uh, usually they have 48 hours to get it done. Right. Which means that we're flying in, we're looking at everything in their price range. They're flying in the next day, we're picking them up in a limousine and they're seeing the best three homes. Right. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, they're picking one. And it's the end of it. But how do you do that? Because can you be a real estate agent in every state? Do you have to be licensed in particular states? Yeah, I am. I'm licensed in a lot of different states. But we also have local Abrams team affiliates everywhere in the country. Oh, interesting. Do you, do you work with the uh, NBA, the NFL directly? Because I know some of the, if I'm not mistaken, don't they have to, you have to be approved, right, to work with the athletes? Financial advisors uh, have to be approved. Real estate agents don't, which is one of the problems with our industry because in some states, it takes five days to become a real estate agent. Sure. Right? So it guarantees that not all of us are created equal. So we don't work directly with the leagues. It's the financial advisors and the agents that are referring us. Okay, so, so a guy calls you up and says, okay, uh, go find me a house. You, you look for three houses. What, what are you looking for for him? I know a lot of these guys are really tall, so you got to have a big house. And that's the thing. <laughs> we're, we're trying to find a home that is A, unique, right? But right. B, that fits. I mean, imagine if you only fit into half of the showers in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you didn't fit into any of the bathtubs. And your closet, everything was always wrinkled because even your regular shirts. So you're looking for the big house. I'm looking for something that fits, right? And then I'm looking for something unique, and I'm looking for something private. And most athletes want to have something that no one else has. Of yeah. course. So that brings us to the resale. Do you also handle that for them when they get traded? Because sometimes it's hard to unload these really expensive houses in these particular cities that don't have a lot of them. That's right. I I'm the last face you see when you're leaving town and the first one you see when you get to the <laughs> new town. So we're really cognizant of the fact that if we sell you an arbitross, we're going to have to be the ones that sell it. I okay. love it. Uh, go ahead, see. I, I love the fact that you kind of pitched this idea to HGTV. You said you, you took, uh, what, a 10-minute video of what you do, and you, you made the pitch, and obviously it worked because they bought it. No question. We had offers from a lot of different networks. We chose HGTV because we think they're premier for design and, and real estate. We got to go. You have a lot of athletes that you found homes for? A lot of athletes. Five? Congratulations. Ten? <laughs> Many more than five okay, or ten. Okay, good. Good to know. Check out the show on HGTV Tuesdays 11, scoring the deal. Jason? Real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck. Coming up on Fox and Friends, if you're looking